Hi and welcome to this DCP Web HTML5 and CSS beginners tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use CSS to target a HTML ID attribute. So if we open up a Notepad++, we'll put that on this side here, and we'll open up Google Chrome. Let's put that on this side here. And we'll open up our folder, we'll go to the Sun project and drag and drop the index page here. So sometimes in web development, we want to target the H1 tag specifically. Yeah? Um, right now, we're using just the tag here, the H1, to manage the content in here, the, the style of it. Now, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can um, put in ID here. So we can do ID equals my header title. Yeah. So this has now become an ID. It's not. A, it's it's a it's a it's a marker. You could say. Yeah. Think of it that way. Works a bit like a class, similar, but it's just an ID. And this ID we can target with other programming languages as well. So there's a language called JavaScript, and with JavaScript we'll look at that maybe a bit later. But imagine if um, I wanted to style this um, h1 tag specifically, but at the same time I want to do something like after five seconds of this page loading, so once the page loads, after a few seconds, let's say two seconds, I want to change the color automatically to a different color. I could use JavaScript to do that. Or I want to change the text to something else, I could use JavaScript to do that. Or when someone scrolls down the page, this content here, for example, might change color. So we can use IDs to do that using JavaScript, but that's a bit further down the line in these tutorials, let's say. But what we can do is take this ID, so ID equals my header title, copy it, and go to our CSS. And instead of having this H1 tag here, we could delete that and put a hash, and then put the name of the ID. The hash and the name of the ID, this is how we target that particular ID, this ID here. Now one thing you should know, it's just going to stay the same color. If we go here and change this to something like, um, let's change it to blue. If we change it to the blue color and refresh, you'll see it will change blue. So it's not targeting the H1 tag itself, it's targeting the ID inside. Um, one thing you need to note though is ID should be unique. You should only ever use them once on a page. You shouldn't use the same ID in multiple places once on a page. Um, normally I use IDs if I'm targeting um, elements within a form. So if you've got a form, let's say it's a, a form to fill out on your website, then I would use IDs to target that form for JavaScript, but then also target it for CSS as well. You could use that same ID uh, to target two different things, right? So a good example of that would be if I go to my website, let's say this form here, I could put an ID in this field here, and then I could target the style of it using CSS, but then when I click the button, I could use some JavaScript to read that content off of these fields using them same IDs. Something like this we could use, yeah? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but if you're just building a general page and you just wanna create uh, CSS for this here, you can also use a class. So you could do something like, um, you could put a class in here instead. So if it's just for the purpose of design, then you could do class equals my title header. And then you could do h1 dot. So you do h1 dot, h1, you're targeting the h1 tag, but then you're targeting this particular class to that h1 tag. And if you refresh, you'll see it will still stay blue. So that's another way to do it. That's probably the preferable way if you're only manipulating the visual rather than programming later. If you're gonna do some programming later, then an ID will be better. So like I said before, there's quite a few different ways of doing things. It really depends on what your strategy is, what, what is it you want to achieve. So normally, as a developer, we would sit down and think about exactly what we wanna do. So if we were scrolling down this page and then this background was gonna change from green to a different color, then we would give this section an ID and then we'll use JavaScript to change that color. 
we could get it to switch classes, for example, yeah? We'll do something like this in CSS. So we could have two different classes. One says green background, another class says red background, and we could use JavaScript to switch those classes. JavaScript we'll look at a bit later. So it really depends on what you're trying to achieve on the project. But I just wanted to show you that we can have ID here, and we can target an ID using the hash my title, yeah? Hash my header title. It's quite important to remember that for later. But for now, we're going to be building something quite basic. So this is not really necessary. Okay. I'm going to minimize this. And join me in the next tutorial where we'll start to do some more coding using CSSS.